Here's a simple 12 volt regulator circuit. The regulator has three pins on it and the one on the left is the input. Now to regulate 12 volts you must have more than 12 volts going into the input and this particular regulator can handle a maximum of 35 volts at the input. Everything is grounded to the center pin and the output of this regulator is on the right and this side is maintained at about 12 volts. To show how this regulator functions in this circuit we're going to take a look at the voltage on both sides, the input and the output, without a load. Then I'm going to add a 100 ohm resistor at the output to ground, giving it a 100 ohm load. And we'll be measuring the voltage on both sides. Then I'm going to add another 100 ohm resistor in parallel, which will make 50 ohms to ground and then I'm going to add a 50 ohm resistor to ground for a total of 25 ohms to ground and we'll see how the regulator handles this on both sides at the input and the output. This is the setup and on the left is the regulator. Here's a closer look. Okay, I've got my regulator right here. And I've got three resistors here. 100 ohms, 100 ohms, and 50 ohms. And they're all eventually going to be hooked up in parallel. But right now, there's no resistance across the load. So let's turn on the power supply. And this reads 15 volts. And this reads right here oh, about, that's 10, 11, 12, about 12.8. 12 okay, now I'm going to put a 100 ohm resistor across the output of this regulator. And we can see that almost nothing happened over here, but our voltage has dropped to 14.5. Okay, I'm going to add another 100 ohm resistor across this one, which will make 50 ohms across the regulated output. And again, Almost nothing happened here. This is reading the output. But here we're at 14.1. So now we got 50 ohms across the load. This is another 50 ohm resistor. So I am going to add that onto it. So now we got 25 ohms across the load and as you can see this reads 13.5 and this reads about 12.3 so almost no movement over here and quite a bit of movement over here so this regulator is changing its resistance to keep this side at 12 volts. As we saw in the video, without a load, we had 15 volts DC at the input of this regulator, and we had about 12.8 volts at the output. And when I added a 100 ohm load on the left, it went down to 14.5 volts and at the output it remained at about 12.8 
when I paralleled another 100 ohm resistor for 50 ohms load on the left it went down to 14.1 and on the right the output still remained at about 12.8 and when I added one more resistor 50 ohms for a 25 ohm load on the left it went down to 13.5 volts and on the right the output is at about 12.3 volts. Thanks for watching.